Hey guys, how you doing? This is Bear with Bear's Den Acrylic Art, and we are back for a bonus painting video. If this 18 by 24 looks familiar, this is my attempt from, what, two nights ago, that did not go according to plan. Uh, I fought this canvas tooth and nail and arrived at a stalemate, and as much as I like how the top came out. This is what inspired my video from last night, the Aurora Borealis. As much as I like this part, I really am not a fan of how this swipe uh, ended up there. Just the lines got all kinds of jacked up and wonky, and this canvas seemed to be mocking me all day. And I can't have that, so I am going to show this canvas who is boss with the help of Drew Barrymore. And we are going to be reclaiming this, repurposing this, and doing a Dutch pour, kind of monochromatic, but with a little pop of color, uh, which will, you know, if it turns out well, this is going to be a housewarming gift for my older sister, who is uh, moving. So, fingers crossed that it turns out well. So my base is going to be the Liquitex Iridescent Graphite. Uh, this is a really gorgeous color uh, that dries really, really well. So it's just a pleasant change of pace from the Artist Law Flow Black or White. So I'm going to take a minute. I am going to paint the edges because it's Prussian blue. And even though this is an opaque color, I would rather be safe than sorry. So I'm going to take a minute and bang this stuff out and I will meet you back here. Okay, guys, thank you for sticking around. I have the canvas flooded and... We'll give one last torch because I just mixed this paint. So you know how that goes, just a ton of air bubbles. Now, one thing I do want to let you know. So if you remember a couple videos back, I did that uh, 16 by 40 uh, Dutch pour for pride where I had, you know, the, like the spiral shape. Okay. And blown out. My sister really loved that. So I want to, um, recreate that as best I can. Now, unfortunately that 16 by 40 did not dry well. There was, I don't think I had enough pouring medium, uh, in my pigments, I didn't have enough of a binder and they dry just kind of, just kind of rough and, you know, funky looking. So, you know, I sanded it down smooth. I put a couple coats of gesso on it and I did it again, this time with a lovely, uh, you know, greenish blue, uh, you know, color palette. And wouldn't you know, before the painting was even dry, it sold. So that one is going to Germantown, Maryland, which I am really thrilled about. But this one, this one is staying local to the Philadelphia area. So I have the base on this stretched pretty thin. And the reason I have it so thin is so when I do go to blow it out, I don't get a ton of the base coat blown along with the paints I'm going to layer down over it. So that also prevents the paints that I layer down over it to kind of spread too wide. Um, so without further ado, let's, let's get this going. So the first color I'm going to use now this looks very similar, but this does dry darker. This is the Deco Arts Dazzling Metallics in the Black 
pearl. And I really love this, this paint. So all I'm going to do is just put down, I'm just going to block out the shape. And we'll go from there. So because this isn't quite as long and narrow as the other attempts I have on this, we're just going to keep this as simplified as possible. So instead of the shapes or the, you know, the waves kind of going out to the sides, I'm going to have them going out on the diagonal so they have a little bit more uh, room to open up. So this first thing all starts, though, with a circle kind of in the center. Now that I probably could have done a whole lot better, but oh well. So how I want to blow these out, or I guess block them out. Yep, we are just going to come around this way, go up and over like that. That way, as it blows, it will spread and it will go off the, it'll go off the edge there. We'll just thicken that line a little bit. So <clears throat> now all I have to do is just the mirror image going this way. And just remembering I want to end about there. Yep, I like that. So that is the black pearl. Next, we are going to go in with my Deco Art Extreme Sheen Pewter. Or no, this is a uh, Dazzling Metallics uh, Pewter. So again, this is, you know, it's really similar, but this has more of like a bluish, hue to it. So we are just going to lay him down. All right. And let's go back and do the other side. You guys have been leaving some really, really great comments on the previous videos, so thank you for that. Uh, you know, a lot of you have said that, uh, you know, this kind of spiral shape, it's not one that you've really seen. And, you know, I just wanted to, you know, try and bring something original to the table uh, as best I could. So, moving on. For a little bit higher contrast, we've got the Iridescent Silver by Pebio. Just gonna invite him to the party. All 
All right, next for our pop of color, we are going to go with the Pearl Rose by Arteza. And I absolutely love this color. And, you know, this kind of steely graphite uh, goes really, really well with this shade of pink. And I just think that it's, you know, I like the juxtaposition of, you know, something, you know, a color palette that is overall so very masculine, uh, you know, contrasted by what is traditionally, you know, a very feminine color. So that, in my opinion at least, adds some visual interest, all right? It breaks up the monochromatic a little bit. So, finishing this off, we have Iridescent White by Liquitex. I wanted to use this instead of the Dazzling Metallics Pearl White just because it does have a little bit different finish to it. And this will, you know, this will complement the pearl, uh, you know, the pearl pink pretty well. Okay. So we will go a poppin'. And I will give this a second torching after I'm done blowing it out. Okay, so plan of attack. I am going to start right where this arm meets the center circle, okay? A little bit further back. That way, as I blow out, you know, I can kind of control the direction and, you know, if it spreads, you know, in this area, that's perfectly fine. What I wanna try and do is minimize as best I can, you know, them kind of bleeding into each other or overlapping. So let's give this a go. I think I'm actually gonna start up here and travel out that way. Yep. Pretty cool. 
All right, now, so you'll notice that I'm gonna run into a little bit of trouble around here. So I'll try and figure out how to, you know, integrate this part. Uh, but I'm gonna try and keep everything closer towards the center because this lobe is so close. But let's see what happens. Okay. You know, overall, I really do kind of like it. And the only part that it's not entirely what I wanted was this right in here. Because you see how on this side there is that separation of the spiral arm that is absent, uh, you know, over here. But. The good thing is that that is, you know, I can wait for this to dry and then go back in, you know, with a detail brush. And fix that. So let's see. So this part right here, like I said, what I'm going to try and do is use my straw to just kind of sculpt this a little bit. Uh, you know, maybe try and thin this part a little bit or, you know, as much as I can. And also without getting, you know, my arm or whatever in, uh, in the paint. So, pardon my bald head. So you see, you know, the general idea is to just try and taper this part as much as possible. Now this is gonna keep, uh, you know, collapsing back in on itself because it's so wet. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. You 
yeah, I'm gonna fiddle with the center a little bit uh, just to try and clean it up and make it look more like an eye, like the eye of a hurricane kind of thing. But this looks really, really great. I don't know if you can see from your vantage point, but from mine, uh, because I have the metallics, uh, you know, as the, you know, the lower stacked colors, there's a lot of reaction. There's a lot of lacing. There are a couple, you know, spots of cells. So this looks really, really, really good. And, uh, you know, what's not perfect on it, I can fix. So let me clean up my edges and then I will bring you in for the look-see so you can uh, get an idea of what this looks like on my end. So let me bring you down. Okay, so this is the finished product or the almost finished product. So as you can see, the center here, I do want to kind of fiddle with. Uh, I did take my squared off palette knife. And as you can see, you know, I started just kind of defining this a little bit because even though I might not be able to match, you know, the separation on this side, at least I can trick my eye into, you know, at least acknowledging that there is that separation. But that all being said, look at all of the lacing and the cells. And I love how the pearl pink and the iridescent white play off of, you know, the silver and the pewter and just the base, you know, graphite. So again, this is just the juxtaposition of, you know, masculine colors with feminine accents, I guess. Um, I am going to mess with this part right here too, but you get the idea. So overall, I am quite pleased with this. And uh, yeah, I think my sister will be too. At least I hope so. All right, guys. Well, thank you once again for sticking around and watching this video. I hope you like this painting as much as I do. And if you are new, uh, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting that bell to get notified when I post new content. Uh, you know, give me a like, give me a comment. Uh, let me know what you liked or what you didn't like. Let me know what you think I could do better. Uh, any and all feedback I love. So uh, if you are interested in purchasing any of my work, you can email me at bear at bearsdenacrylicart.com uh, or you can find me on Facebook or Instagram at bearsdenacrylicart. Um, so yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening and uh, let's keep painting. Bye.